Good morning folks, welcome along to the freaking vlog. It is Thursday morning and it is glorious out here. I'm only sat down and I know I've already got to take this jacket off because of this beaming sunlight. So, we need to obviously counteract that in the summer months and that's what we've been building for the past few days, a retracting sun canopy stroke drizzle canopy. Now the idea is that we're gonna string it up from that wall there across to that wall there basically as high as possible uh, but what we don't want to do is uh, obstruct any future plans like at the back we want to build like a staging area for bands and what have you so it needs to be far enough forwards to negate that and uh, doesn't want to be too far forwards uh, that we can't fit everything on this side so I have to measure up the angles get the angle of the dangle right and uh, figure out where we're going to string these cables and get the height right as well and I'm also waiting for the cables to come into uh, tool station I've ordered them to be delivered directly there so I don't miss the delivery should I not be here and we're waiting for the conduit pipe as well which is going to go into the sleeving on that we stitched into the canopy uh, to provide us with the corrugated look if you like I can't think of a pleated look whatever else it's called so I'm gonna jump up on the ladder I'm gonna put some pencil marks on the wall and I'm gonna try and get what will probably look like a rough estimate of where we're gonna put everything and then we'll uh, if we've got time today then we'll drill some holes maybe even hang it up but I doubt it because I don't think the gear is going to arrive in time. Anyway, up we get. Let's get some freaking work done, boys. So as you can see from where I've tried to mark things out, it's pretty much an 8 meter span for the cables to support this and uh, the height that we've got, well, we're kind of restricted on this side due to this window and of course we're restricted on this side due to the roof. So it's going to be almost a level stringing of the cables, we're not going to be able to implement any, uh, any fall on there if you like. I mean, just get out of the sun, it's blinding me. So uh, I'm kind of playing it by ear a little bit which is generally how it goes most days but we're just going to come from behind my tabs here straight across to probably quite close to the sill of that window there to give us as much height as possible so as quickly as possible I've got the wires up as you can see behind me two, four, six and the same over here We've got two, four, six strung and tensioned on this side with a couple of turnbuckles so hopefully that will provide plenty of tension to hold said canopy uh, above our head. So I'm just going to clear a few spare pieces of hardware out of the beer garden then we're going to go into the brewery now and cut down the uh, What's it called? The steel trunk in the, um, yeah, you know what I mean. The supports anyway for the canopy that are gonna run from one side to the other. Basically the metal conduit. It's all this stuff down here. So we've got to cut all those down into the correct length, slide them into the cloth and uh, also make holes in there for um, yeah actually I need to make holes in there for some cleats and I don't have the cleats so it looks like that's probably as far as we're gonna get today bummer oh, it's just occurred to me I'll go and have a look see where it is see if I can track it conveniently and right on cue our cleats have arrived 304 stainless steel metal cleats to be screwed on two holes uh, so I can pretty much put the sewing machine away 
put my plans away, clear the board, and we'll start rigging the poles up. You know, there's a chance we'll get this up today. Um, I'm worried about it being a little bit windy over the weekend because I won't be here, I'm taking the kids to the coast. So, I could blow down while I'm not here. I have to put faith in my engineering skills. Of course, if anyone advises me against it, it'll be too late because by the time this video goes out online, I'll already be in the car on the way to Wales. So, uh, yes, do I take the risk? You should know me better by now. Of course I take the goddamn risk. Nothing ventured, my friends, nothing gained. Now this part should effectively be self-explanatory. So I've cut all the pipes down, 14.50 in total. I was going to mark and pre-drill them but uh, and then use my fingers to find the holes but I thought sod it, I'll put them in, I'll just measure it from the outside and I'll just belt the screws straight through the fabric and into the metal. I think that's probably the best way to do it. That's the way I'm going to do it anyway. Best or not best. So I've got some stainless steel cleats which you've already seen. Like saddle bra braces, whatever they call them. Uh, and then I've got some stainless steel self-tapping pan head screws to go on top of those. And then we've got some snap uh, clasps, you know, like carabiner kind of things. And uh, I couldn't get the ones with a fixed eye on the bottom, so if we need to be able to reorientate the, the carabiner, then I bought some chains, some stainless steel chains, which was actually cheaper than buying stainless steel washers. 60 stainless steel washers, uh, so I can just cut the chain to make like little washers if you like, and uh, that will then allow me to change the orientation of the clasp. So if it's facing sort of east west, I can change it to north south by putting one of those little washers in between. You'll see what I mean if I need them anyway, I will definitely get it on the video. Okay, the stitching's holding up. Had a little bit of time to mess about and kind of reflect on what I'm doing. I uh, started the job basically and realised that uh, it ain't as easy as I thought it was going to be. So these are the snap hooks, you've all seen these kind of thing before right? And uh, these are the little bits of link from the chain, stainless steel chain. So you can see what it does, it changes that face that way, almost rotates it for me, like that. So uh, that's the idea, if you look down here. So this here is effectively where we're going to insert the cleat. This is take two because the first time was not pretty and uh, I was coming out of the screws and almost making holes in the cloth and everything. It took me so long to find the holes but this time I've got them lined up, I've got them prepared so we put cleat on one side, slide on our little link from the uh, doodly do that's the trouble as well so you have to make sure you get these screws bob on because if they're on an angle they don't want to go in there we go so now this is the tricky part you need to try and get these screws in without coming out and making a hole in the cloth So that's one side, almost home. Uh, 
there we go. He's in. Then we want this to face that way, so put it on the opposite way, and there we have it. That is basically what we're looking for. That is the cleat as it's going to go, and the wire, and the wire will be at a right angle to the pole. Perfect, slidey, slidey. And we've got a bit of play as well. Take up a bit of slack off the wind and what have you. So yeah, just another uh, eight of these per sheet. Wow, I don't think I'm going to get this on today, frankly. I'm ever the optimist though, aren't I? <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. If not, well, probably for the best. We put it up after the weekend. Yeah, and it doesn't blow away in the wind. <laughs> well, I managed to get one set up, and I've done my knee in in the process. I don't know what I've done. Feels like the old bursitis is about to flare up. So I'm going to go home and rest it for the weekend because we'll be doing a lot of walking this weekend and I don't want it to be Das's kaput. So uh, anyway, I've got one set up. So this is what it looks like from this angle. There we go. You can kind of see how it's going to work. When we've got all three of them in a row. We'll have a lovely sunshade in the pos in position, and uh, they will pull all the way out to like this wall here and retract nicely. But they slide on the wire, no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to leave them up for an hour before I go home, and uh, yeah, see if they survive. Uh, come on, girls. This is my coriander bed for crying out loud. <laughs> Just helping yourself, aren't you? All right, that's it then. Go on, you know the way. And you get. Come on. Oh, that's a good, good group of girls. Get yourselves in there, ladies. Right then, we'll see you after the weekend. <laughs> hey, we'll see you after the weekend. So yeah, as you might have gathered, I'm at home, I'm in the back garden, shooing the chickens off my fine self-seeded coriander bed. It's actually where the chicken pen used to be, you wouldn't have thought they'd want to go back in there, would you? Excuse me love, I'm just grabbing a glass. So the plan is, uh, chill for the evening, get ready to go to Wales in the morning, See if I can prop you there for a second. Oh, sugar. That didn't work, did it? Yeah, go to Wales in the morning. Take in a little bit of the scenery. We're going down there near Cardigan or Cardigan? Cardigan Bay? Cardigan. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Welsh, isn't it? So, yeah, we're off down there for uh, a couple of days. Hopefully the weather's good. Um, as you can see, we got that canopy up at work. I've taken it down since and uh, put it away because I don't have any guide ropes or anything to hold it in place and it will blow backwards and forwards on the guide wires, uh, but it won't blow off by the looks of it. It seems like it's really sturdy and uh, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere once we get the whole thing. Uh, up and finished but that will be next week now so I've got an old uh, IVT glass here and I've got some vacant gesture folks on tap yes indeed I have so we're already approaching 8 o'clock in the evening I believe so what better to enjoy the last few moments of fleeting sunshine with a beautiful pint of vacant gesture before I finish the edit. Hopefully I'll grab loads of awesome videos for you over the next few days. Not sure how the Wi-Fi is going to be though, so uploads may be sporadic, but I'll try my very best to uh, put something together. So we'll see you then. Big road trip tomorrow. <laughs>